Hey, it's Joe, and this is my next project. This is one of the oldest houses in Longview, Texas. It is the J.N. Campbell House, and it was built in 1872, and it's now being restored by Preservation Longview. And these good folks' focus is to preserve, protect, and promote historic Longview. And they like old buildings and homes and architecture, and I like old homes and architecture, and somehow we found each other. As the restoration went along, it became apparent that these capitals uh, at the top of these columns could not be reused uh, or repaired. So the consensus was that if we could make a mold of these, if we could restore them enough to make a mold, then we could recreate them, and it was important that they got recreated exact. So just for a test, I got a little piece of this, a chunk, brought it home, got it on the table, and picked around on it to see if I could get the paint off. All that paint since 1872 was still there. It was really blocking out a lot of the detail, and I got little knives and dental instruments, and I eventually picked it all apart and got it down to its original terracotta. However, <clears throat> it was still so weather-beaten and pitted that it just couldn't be used like that. You can see it was rough, and it was never like that when it was first produced. So I knew what we had to do. We're going to have to get a whole piece and pick it out clean and then smooth it all off. Out of all the pieces that we had left, of all the other capitals, this was the best piece that we had. Uh, it's a quarter of a capital, it's 27 inches wide and 6 or 8 inches tall. And it wasn't in very good shape either, so off to restoration. So basically to start with, you just pick all the old paint off. And uh, some of it came off pretty easy, but in this little detail and all the little grapes and all around all the little crevices, you had to have a dental tool and pick on it and try not to pick off any of the original detail. This thing was made in 1872. I, I don't know how they made it. Today we have urethane molds, rubber molds, silicone molds. What did they have? They certainly didn't have that. Perhaps they had wax molds. Uh, maybe it was carved in wood, uh, molded in wax. I'm not sure. But it was terracotta and horsehair. You could see the horsehair sticking out of it on the back. And you could see their fingerprints where they had pushed it into a mold. So I know it was in a mold somehow. And I took the thing and I mounted it to the table. And I made a rail system. You can see the little piece of wood on the right and the little piece of wood on the left. And they came together in the dead center of the radius of this piece. And there's a bolt in the table that I could hook a, a swing arm on and I could sand this curve in there to where it's exactly the same. And I made kind of a uh, uh, moving uh, carving device that I could slide on the right rail and then take the same piece, put it on the left rail and slide it. And it would carve these little a quarter round at the bottom and every piece of it had to be exactly the same. So we have most of the restoration done and now's the time we have to make a cut on the back and fix the back up. It has to be cut exactly 25% of a square. A little pie shaped piece has to be perfect. So here we go. The next part of the process is to build a box. And the reason you build the box is to hold the urethane, but also to take up room. You don't need a whole lot of urethane. In fact, you need very little, and it's pretty expensive stuff. So the box you make will hold everything in position even when you do your uh, molding of the piece. And it's a lot of fun to do, so if you get a chance to do it, I highly recommend it. And I would recommend calling the people at Reynolds Advanced Materials. 
They're in Dallas, but they have locations all over the United States, and they were the most helpful people I believe I've ever worked with. Great store. You can go up there locally and look around at their stuff. Very helpful people. And now the good part. It gets dry, and you get to take the box off if it's not stuck. And it wasn't. We were lucky there, and the piece didn't get stuck in it. And that's the original piece. Now you're ready to make your piece inside this mold in the box. And we sent that off to a cast stone company, and they made 16 individual pieces. And the restoration folks at on-site bonded those together on top of the columns. And, and here they are on the house. I think they turned out great, and the guys did a great job mounting them. This was a lot of fun making the molds. If you get a chance, I highly recommend it. I appreciate Preservation Longview letting me be a part of this. They're still in progress. They're getting closer all the time. They're a great group. Check them out. Check out their website. Off to the next project. I hope you enjoyed watching as much as we enjoyed making it. If you did, tell your friends and subscribe. It's important.